What started with just a regular routine budget amendment request upon further examination revealed that they had a current budget of $1 million and requested $385,000 increase. The money was coming from contingencies. When you look into the contingency budget, they had $1.2 million squirreled away in case of a natural disaster or an emergency is what the contingency fund is for. So if they had $1.2 million and took $385,000 out of it, it left a balance of $884,000. Information provided in response to a Public Information Act request indicates that that $1.3 million was only for five months from the beginning of fiscal year 2012 from October 1st. Remember, they only had a million dollars budgeted, but in five months they managed to spend $1.3 million. If you divide the $1.3 million by five months, you average $277,000 a month. If you multiply that figure times the 12 months, you come up with $3.3 million, or 330% over budget. There's plenty of blame to go around in this, but this time of year we got choice between two candidates that are partially responsible. So what are their options? Well, there's plenty of options. You take the money from the budget of the department that failed to plan properly. They could do things like ground the helicopter so that Larry can't ride as parade marshal over the parades in his helicopter, or they could eliminate take-home cars for county employees and transfer the money from the fuel budget. So what do they come up with with a solution for so far? Well, it appears that they're going to put criminals back out on the streets faster. Get the criminals out of the jail. Thank you for your support.